I'm Dr Jan Smith and I summited Everest on my 68th birthday. I knew the Sherpas and they knew my pace. They call me Amagaga in, in Nepali, Tibetan, which means grandma. <laughs> so they told me when we're your age, we're dead. So they were quite, it was quite unusual to have a grandma climbing to these heights. So they adjusted to my pace. And when they got to the summit, the Sherpas got on their sat phone and said, summit, summit, just the two words. And he broadcast around the world, which I heard later. Just received a radio call from the summit of Everest, Jan Smith is on top of the summit right now. It was just a magic experience of watching the sunrise on top of the Himalaya. And I did a 360, my vid camera had run out, just had a few still shots capacity and I thought I'm never going to be here again. I just have it in my memory like a photograph. It took me three shots to um, summit Everest and once I did, I just wondered what do I do now? And someone suggested the seven summits and I thought, well, yes, why not? I can't just do nothing. And so I set about doing three a year and I hoped to have conquered them all by 70, but I didn't. <laughs> and I'm 71 now and I've done six out of seven. I still have to, I still have to summit Denali in Alaska, North America. Oh, well, they all used to worry and tell you you're taking a silly risk and what about your children and grandchildren and all the rest of it. But my husband's always been my greatest support. He's, um, he relies on denial a lot, so he <laughs> never worries. He just said, no, no, she'll be right, nothing will happen. And nothing has happened, so he's been right, but um, he's the only one with that attitude. But I've never had an accident or, a, you know, obviously I come back every time. And my local doctor, you know, since I, he said, you're over 60, you shouldn't really be doing it. You know, the statistics are worse. And he said, but uh, since you enjoy it, I suppose it's all right. I tell them I'm slow and steady and, you know, I don't fall over and I don't go down crevasses. <laughs> and if I do, I know how to get out. But you can talk, all the talk in the world, they're still very anxious about it and you're constantly having to prove yourself. So I'm inclined to say, we get somewhere and we're all exhausted. I said, is this the actual point you wanted to stop or did you go on and go close down there? They say, oh my God, you know. <laughs> I think I'm just pretending I'm pretty sure they want to stop here. But I'll just pretend that I could take another step or two. Oh, that'd be another three hours and it's all uphill, they say. I say, oh, okay, you're happy with our progress today? And they say, yes, yes, we'll camp here. <gasps> I go, oh, good. <laughs> And one of them said, oh, God, I could do with some ibuprofen. I thought, oh, yeah, they're suffering too. Good, good. <laughs> Young, fit men, you know, I thought they were kind of invulnerable, but no, they're, they're hurting too.